While visitors are always delighted by our animals here at the North Carolina Zoo, few realize the tremendous amount of work that goes on behind the scenes to make sure they get the very best care. One tool used by zookeepers to make life easier for both themselves and their animals is operant conditioning. This special type of training enables keepers to perform routine husbandry procedures while rewarding the animals for their cooperation. An example of the effectiveness of that training can be seen in the zoo's baboon collection. Keeper Jody Wiley explains. Here at the North Carolina Zoo, we use what's called operant conditioning to train the uh, baboons. We actually reward the baboons with something that they really like if they demonstrate the correct behavior. Good job, nice. And we started training um, the female baboons for ultrasound so we could actually watch the development of the fetus. We train them for different body part presentation for their hands and their feet. This way we can actually monitor if they would have any wounding. They also will allow us to actually inject them with anesthesia, with vaccinations. We can do TB testing with the animals. And a few of the animals we've actually taught also um, how to brush their teeth. Whenever the vets used to come, the baboons would get very stressed out. But since we started using operant conditioning, we can actually call the animals over and they can present, like if they have a medical issue, their wound, then they know that they'll actually be rewarded for their behaviors. Operant conditioning is just one way that keepers work behind the scenes every day to make sure that the animals receive the very best care. If you'd like to learn more, please check out our website at nczoo.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.